Ford Bronco Heritage Edition. Some people are going to be really excited about this and a very few are going to be really fortunate to get their hands on the limited edition because, well, it's limited. So we've got the Heritage coming up for both the Bronco and the Bronco Sport. Those two models at first far too often were confused. Even still, some people now see a Bronco Sport and they go, hey, that doesn't look like the 1960s model. No, because it's smaller. But the big Bronco, well, then people say, hey, that, that does look like the 1960s model. And you know what? If you're feeling nostalgic for the 1960s, this is the model for you. This will be the greatest model for you because, well, the colors are very much going back to the mid 60s. The, the paint color mix ups, you know, between the white grill, the white roof and the, the actual paint on the truck really really has that 60s look Ford written up in the front grill squared off or more squared off fenders instead of the rounded fenders this is the vehicle for you if you're reminiscent and nostalgic on those 1966 Broncos so you've got your 1960s Bronco styling meeting modern capability and let's not not take away from the original Bronco that thing had a ton of capability and that's why well the heritage edition on the bronco sport does actually bring it to have more capability it's not just for look so the bronco two-door and four-door heritage models are highlighted by that two-tone paint job and you do have those white accents all over i'm loving the modular hard top roof now i don't know if that's going to be a painted roof or if it's going to be you know molded in white color i'm hoping it's going to be molded in white color because if so fantastic news if you scratch it it's still going to be white if it's painted well when then you scratch it and you'll have the plastic color underneath hopefully no one damages these but i like to think of really everything when i get more info on that i'll put out a, a, another video because over a few videos we will completely cover this heritage model so you've got that race red ford lettering in the front and well the 17 inch wheels they're made of aluminum so they're not you know they're not steelies uh, they're aluminum so that they're well lighter you have less rotational weight so they're going to be better on in regards to fuel economy so you have heritage wheels painted of course in white and on the limited model well then that's like a sasquatch badlands so you've got your black mag with your white rim really really very much 1960s uh inspired but of course then when you go with the limited heritage and you're getting a sasquatch well they didn't have tires quite that big on production vehicles back then and actually the bronco brought 35s uh, as you know just pretty much commonplace uh, to the market and you know pretty much never before seen um, on you know big production models so really really sharp looking vehicles if this if that 60s styling is for you now the colors are pretty great you've got in regards to colors we've got five paint options so you've got your you know exclusive at launch robin's egg blue which is a throwback color based on arcadian blue you've got the available uh, which was available on the original 1966 bronco you've got yellowstone metallic which is based on the 1971 ford color prairie yellow i guess they called it yellowstone because well it's an extremely popular show nowadays and you've got well the, the the yellow though is planned for a late 2023 availability and peak blue is planned for the 2024 model year we're also going to be talking about pricing so make sure you stay all, all the way to the end of the video because we will talk about how much more these vehicles cost not just pricing but how much more they cost so you can know you know is it worth it for me to actually get this and of course we won't just talk price we'll talk a bit you know we're going to cover the technology the interior really going to cover this through and through and we're let's talk about motors right now so the heritage limited edition 
is basically increased capability of the Badlands. So you get you have your 2.7 liter, which is an optional engine on the Badlands, and that EcoBoost V6 is offering you 330 horsepower and 415 pound-feet of torque, always with the same fantastic 10-speed transmission. I love it in my Mustang GT, and I love it in my Bronco. Really, you can drive around town in seventh gear, super low RPM, that super fast, uh, shifts and the transmission is intelligent and intuitive so really great to live with fantastic daily driver so the heritage limited edition is really a beefed up badlands it's like you could say um, badlands that has everything like lux package the 12 inch screen of course bigger sound system so it's going with leather trimmed and vinyl plaid seats really love these seats with white and race red accent stitching and unique heritage limited console badging. Now the regular Bronco heritage, well, that's like a big Ben and you can have it in, the, in a two door. And you know what? It's gonna come standard with a 2.3 liter EcoBoost engine, which comes with the seven speed manual or the available 10 speed select shift. Now, I know a lot of people in the industry talk down when a vehicle has an automatic transmission, but this really is a fantastic automatic transmission. It really is a lot of fun, really quick, shifts faster than any human can. And the motor's producing 300 horsepower and 325 pound feet of torque. Now, the Sasquatch package with high performance off-road stability suspension, is, well, of course, the Haas 2.0 system. So the Heritage Edition has the Haas 2.0 system, which is long travel, Bilstein, position sensitive dampers with end stop control valves. Well, what, what, what does the suspension do? Well, with the 35 inch Goodyear mud terrain tires, it increases your ride height and the suspension is made, you know, the monotube shocks, they're made so that they don't overheat. You can kind of go over little bumps or rough terrain all day long without your shocks just kind of getting fed up, tired, and well, losing their capability and use. And of course you get the front and rear electronic locking axles like you do on the Badlands. And of course, because it's a Sasquatch, you're getting the that 4.7 to one final drive ratio. So good for rock climb, crawling. Now, of course, when you go with the regular Heritage Edition, you're getting an interior like a Big Ben. So the interior is gonna be cloth, but it's really gonna be a really very interesting cloth. And I really don't see, even if you weren't born in the 60s, I don't see very many people having a problem with this. I think it's a gorgeous interior because, well, it's plaid and I think plaid it's time for it to come back. I've always loved it in vehicles and you're getting the white dash. Now you do get the eight inch touch screen because this is a lot like a big bend. But beyond that white dash, you should also notice the red trims throughout the vehicle. And something to take note, like the Badlands, you get a powder coated steel capable front bumper with built in recovery points and integrated fog lamps as standard. Now, if you're looking at the Bronco Sport, what's neat is, well, you get two models. You get the limited model, which is really a beefed up, retro style Badlands, and you get the Heritage Edition. So not the limited. Well, then this is a beefed up Big Ben. So you have that 1.5 liter EcoBoost engine that puts out 181 horsepower and 190 pound feet of torque. And of course, well, the Limited being based off of Badlands, that means that's that two liter engine. So 250 horsepower and 277 pound feet of torque. That's the model my parents have. And it is actually a blast to drive. But the 1.5, I test drove that in a video and I was actually really pleasantly surprised. Now, these heritage editions on the Bronco Sport do come with the Haas system with increased ride height, uniquely tuned front struts with high Hydraulic rebound stops designed to provide a quiet, less jarring off-road experience. In addition, 46 millimeter diameter monotube rear shocks, anti-roll bars, and uniquely tuned springs to help with off-road comfort. So you're not just getting a visual add-on for with the Bronco Sport, you're definitely getting a beefed up suspension. Now, now going back to the Bronco Sport Limited, 
Why would you pay extra to get this one? Well, it comes down to the advanced 4x4 system with a twin clutch rear drive unit with a differential lock that can divert virtually all rear, rear axle torque to either wheel. So better off-road performance. And then the GOAT modes, instead of having five, which was for you know your Heritage Edition Bronco Sport, well, if you do go with the Limited, you're now getting seven drive modes, adding mud, mud and ruts, and a rock crawl mode. So you have five, mod five modes to the Bronco Heritage Edition. Uh, so all your regular ones, really. If you want those extra ones, you're gonna have to go with the Bronco Sport Heritage Limited Edition. Now let's talk about pricing. Really important we talk about pricing here and I'll talk about the differences in pricing. So the Bronco Sport Heritage Edition will start at 34,245 and the Heritage Limited starts at 44,655. So what you're looking at is about an extra four or $5,000 for those models if you're comparing them to, you know, the Big Bend or a Badlands with all the options picked on it. Now, if we go to the Big Bronco, the Heritage Limited is going to be 66,895. And well, if you take a Badlands and you add the Lux package, you add the hard top, you add the 2.7 liter, you really add everything that you could to make it as similar to this Heritage Limited Edition, you'd be at 62,145, and that's a $4,700 difference. If you're looking at the Heritage Edition, not the Limited, so that's a beefed up Big Ben, a retro Big Ben with added features. Well, normally you'd be looking at the Big Ben at 39,195, but now the Heritage, you're looking at 44,305. That's a $4,100 difference, but do recall, very important, we're talking about 2022 Bronco pricing versus these 2023 Heritage models because we will get pricing on those more towards, the date for that is going to be uh, more towards about uh, the 15th of August if things don't get moved around and they're going to actually start building 2023 Broncos the 31st of October. So we'll find out more when the order guide and price guide does come out. Obviously the prices on the big Bronco and the little Bronco, they're going to go up. So the differences we have here aren't going to be, you know, roughly $4,100 to $4,700 on the Heritage Limited and the regular Heritage. It's probably going to end up being about to 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 roughly two thousand to twenty five hundred dollars in difference so i find for vehicles that i feel are going to be collectible they're actually a really good deal they're not you know ford is not being abusive in regards to pricing on this and we'll know even more about that when the 2023 pricing on those other broncos does come out but i think this these are excellent packages at an actual actually an excellent price which these days with limited supply and a whole lot of demand i'm really happy that these special editions that certain people are going to want to get their hands on are going to be really affordable comparatively speaking and who can get their hands on these well the heritage limited they're going to build 1966 of them for 2023 and they're going to be like all the heritage models they're going to be first offered up to people who've been waiting since 2021 or who ordered in 2022 and really for the first few months of production it might only be until 2023 when you can actually if you're a new retail order so you haven't ordered in the past and you're completely new to the whole Bronco game and you're walking in to put in, put in an order, well, you can't order a Bronco. And I'll have more on that in a separate video. So you'll want to like and subscribe to not miss out on any of the important Ford news. Uh, I'll be here. I'm Johnny at Johnny's, Care, Car, Johnny's Car Care and Reviews. And I look forward to covering all the really important news so you don't miss out. And until next time, I do wish you all more cars and more power and do hope that you get to put the pedal to the metal if that's your thing. Take care.